Mr. Wizard. Oh, hi, Rita. Come on in. Hi. Hi. Round over here, because here and careful, don't you don't burn your fingers on the iron, because that's a hot iron. And here's a piece of paper. And watch what happens when I bring it across the iron. It's a sign. Heat. Yes. Heat tricks. Heat tricks. Yeah, it is a trick. <laughs> it disappeared. Uh, right there, yes. And that's what we're going to investigate today. Um, various forms of uh, transferring heat from one to the other, but I'm going to, I'm going to be making all kinds of statements, some of which are true and some of which are false. And you're going to have to try to guess whether my explanations are correct or not. So okay. I'll tell you when I'm going to start possibly doing some false ones. Oh, you're going to tell me from false From now ones? on, we're, from starting now, we'll, we'll be talking the truth. Oh, all right. And later truth. on, we'll nothing go but out. nothing truth. but the truth. Uh, because in order to do tricks based on the idea of heat transfer, I want to make sure that you understand what heat transfer is. How, how does heat get from one place to the other? Well, there are three ways. Yeah. There's the conduction, convection, and radiation. Okay, let's, let's first of all do some normal kind of demonstrations to illustrate these three before we go into the tricks. All right. All right, over here is a candle. Uh, you want to light the candle, please? All right. All right, now uh, here, come on around over here, because here is a glass tube and a copper tube. Mm -hmm. Hold that in this hand, and that in this hand, and hold them both in the flame of the candle. And what kind of uh, heat transfer are we illustrating? Well, this is conduction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Well, it heats up one molecule, and the next molecule heats up the next That's molecule. That's right, the, the, the heat energy... Ouch! What's the matter? It got hot. <laughs> uh, you didn't burn yourself, though. No. no, dropped it in time. You dropped it in time. Well, and why did this get so much hotter than that? You still have that well, in your hand. Well, this is a better conductor. Than Which this, is? The, the metal. The metal is a better conductor than heat, okay? So that's a good example of heat transfer by conduction, which conduction. the molecules bump one another. Okay. Next, uh, this dark bottle of uh, water, feel it. Well, it's warm. It's warm, and this one is cool. It's cool. Okay. So now if I move this over like this, put a playing card on the top, Turn this upside down and put it over here like this. And then pull the card out. Now, do you see what's happening? Yes, the dark liquid's going up. Yes. Yeah. Why? Well, this is like convection, right? Yes. Because the uh, heated liquid's going up. Yes. And then the cool is heavy, so it comes down. Actually, the, well, it's the other way around. The mm -hmm. cool liquid being heavier is pulled down more by gravity. And the dark liquid, being warmer, is lighter. Therefore, the warm, the warm water is pushed up by the cold water. Oh, it's the cool that sort yes. of pushes the it. Same up. thing with air, too, right? Yes. This is convection, mm -hmm. where a whole group of molecules, if they're heated, all move together through some medium, air, mm -hmm. water, or something like this. So that's it's convection. That's convection. Mm -hmm. I think maybe I better take that down, don't you? Yeah, yeah it's my a kind fault. of precariously balanced there. Okay, yeah. convection. Mm. And what's the third one? Well, we had conduction, convection, it's radiation. Radiation. Over here. It's spinning. It's spinning. Uh, and why is it spinning? Well, I guess the heat from the lamps in the room yes. makes it turn. I guess the why? heat goes by it and gives it a little push. Oh, you mean kind of like a wind going yeah. by, blowing the thing around? Well, that's not quite right. No. But uh, now be careful. From now on, We've now illustrated the three different methods, conduction, mm -hmm. convection, and radiation, and this is radiation. And from now on, the explanations or the, uh, the tricks themselves or whatever it is, you're not going to be sure whether it's correct or not. Oh. So I'm warning All you. Right. You come around on my guard. Yeah, you be on your yeah. guard. You come on around on this side because, first of all, the, you were correct, and the reason why this is going around is because of the lights in the room. So I'm going to turn off the lights in the room mm -hmm. and, and then stop this. And I want you to tell me if it is true that it is the heat energy that's making it go around. Will hot water make it go around? Well, yes, it's heat energy. It's, yeah, heat. it's heat. It's hot. And, and if hot water makes it go around, notice which way it'll go around, uh, which way it goes around when I pour hot water on it. All right. Here's warm water. Now notice which way it's turning. The light side is toward me. Yes, the going light side the is right. going forward and the black yeah. side is going backward. Okay, now if it's true that it does that with hot water, do you think cold water will make it go in the reverse? True, yes. Well, hot water makes it go one way, so cold, cold water which is the opposite go of the hot, other. goes the other way. Okay, that's your guess now. Yes, it's true. 
Well, let's try it. Here's ice water. Mm -hmm. It has to stop first. See it slowing? Mm -hmm. Turn the other way. It does. Yeah, it, it is does. true. Now, why? Well, like the hot goes one way, the cold makes it go the why other way. Why does the hot... All right, now, here, I'll make it go the other way with the... Mm. With the hot. There it goes back again the other way. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's see if you, if you can understand why it does this. Notice there are two kinds of veins on here, a dark side and a light side yes, on the vein. Yes, Okay, now, when any kind of radiant heat energy goes into the bulb, it can go through the glass, because it's transparent, and most of the air has been taken out from inside this. What will happen then when the heat energy hits the side of the vein? Which side is going to absorb the most? Well, the black, black absorbs. Black absorbs the most. So now there are still some air molecules left inside here, so that means that the, the black side of the vein is going to heat up the air molecules that are next to it, and they're going to move around, aren't they? Yes. So they'll bang into the black side oh, and push it around. Oh, they'll give it a push. And so when mm -hmm. you put warm water on it, it means that the black side is getting the most push from the air molecules next mm -hmm. to it. A little push. So does that sound logical? Yeah, that's you're gonna true. You're going to accept that? Oh, All right, now what about, <laughs> what, what about the, the cold water? Well, it's not getting any more heat to push it around, but something's pushing it the other way. What do you say about that? <laughs> well, let's see if I can try this explanation on you. This goes opposite. It goes in the opposite direction. If it is true that the black absorbs more heat, isn't it true that the black might radiate more heat when you put uh, material around it that is absorbing heat, like cold water? Mm. Well, if it has the heat, it'll give it off. It'll give it off. All right, now, this means that when this, the shiny side of the vein, or the silver side of the vein, um, the black side is giving away most of the heat, this means that the heat that's left on the silver side would heat up the molecules that are next to it most, yeah, it's and the then, they, the, then they would bang on the silver side and make it go backwards. Oh, so that's that, right. It that's does right. go backwards. So, so, you, so you were correct. But for the wrong reason. Yeah, I didn't know why. You just why. figured I just if hot figured does it, cold it. would be the opposite. It was right anyway. Okay, now let me turn the lights on again. And notice when the when the lights come on that it uh, it's going backwards now, right? Yeah, now it's yeah, stopped. It should stop. It should go stop around. going around the other way. Yeah, the heat pushes. Okay. Well, now that one you did pretty well on. I say you got, got it right right. For, right for the wrong reasons. Now well. let's go to another one. Uh, here is a candle. Mm -hmm. And a knitting needle and a, and a thing, and here is a $500 bill. See it? Well, it's fake. What do you mean it's fake? It says 500 smackers right on it. It's phony money. Phony. It wouldn't be real. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll show you why, because this is the kind of money that will not burn a hole in your pocket. Isn't that true? Yes. Because it's phony. Yeah, and it's phony. the reason it won't burn a hole in your pocket is because it won't burn at all. And uh, there's a candle. Uh, you, want, you want to get the matches over there, please? Burn it all? No, light the candle. So if you put the uh, candle there like that, and, and I hold the money over it, it won't burn. True, it won't burn. Yeah, but you know why? Because it has this in it. Well, what's that? The metal object. What is that metal object? Well, that's do? a good conductor, and it'll take the heat from the flame before the, the phony money has a chance to burn. Uh, well, it, it's be, and what kind of uh, heat uh, conduction, convection, or radiation is this? Well, this be conduction. Conduction. Mm -hmm. In other words, the heat from the candle goes through the paper and the, it is pulled away so fast by the metal bar mm -hmm. that it keeps the paper from burning because it can't get up to the high enough temperature? True. True. You think that's true? Is it true? Yeah, I think it's true. Okay, well then, what should happen if you slowly pull that metal bar out from there? Well, there'll be no conductor behind it, so yeah. it should burn up. All right, try it one. <laughs> there it goes, burning up. You see why I use yeah. play money? Yeah. Would it work with real money? Well, I, I, before I answer that, maybe we ought to try it. You got a dollar? Oh, no thanks. I'll stay in suspense. <laughs> you will uh, check it. Uh, well, it would work. It would work with almost any piece of paper, but I thought play oh. money might be easier because I'm too Better cheap. Better, too. <laughs> I'm too cheap to burn up $500 uh, oh. <laughs> or even a dollar. Anyone would. But you got that one yeah. correct and for yeah. the correct reason. Yeah. All right. Getting better. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. All right, next one. Uh, in this uh, pitcher, I have a liquid that boils at a very low temperature. And if, I, and if I fill it, put the liquid in the glass here like this, mm -hmm. and then cover the glass here with a piece of a handkerchief, see a thin material, and now put a rubber band over the top like this. See? 
And you know why the water doesn't come out when you the turn it upside down. Because <laughs> the handkerchief spreads the uh, water over the mouth of the, milk, of the um, special liquid over the, uh, the uh, surface here. Now, in order to, uh, to know, this is such a, a low boiling point liquid that even the, the um, heat from a finger, if you rub it, will get it to boil. So you take your finger, yeah. ladder. I don't know. Seems I don't like the way possible. you're looking at me. Uh, you uh, uh, rub your finger on your sweater to get it yeah, nice and warm, and then hold it up here. And if it does boil, it means that convection currents are coming from your finger, going up, heating the low boiling yeah. temperature liquid convection and making currents. it boil. Okay, oh, now right. you, you hold it under there. Don't, don't touch it so it cools off. Holy cow. Well, it's boiling, but no. It couldn't be my finger. Let me, let me do it again. You didn't rub it hard enough. Better rub it again. Get it good and hot so that you All can right. feel it. How could it boil at such a low temperature? Because it's a very special liquid that boils at low temperature. All if, right. If it's true. You feel your finger getting good yeah, and hot? I don't know. Don't, don't hesitate. Well, it's boiling a little bit. Now, do it with two impossible. fingers. Do it with two fingers so you get twice as much heat. See if it boils twice as much. All right. Whoops. There goes the water. Water? This is a special low temperature... Uh, low boiling point. Yeah, but wow, I don't two know. fingers, it really goes. That's impossible. You don't believe it. Impossible. How so, can my fingers do it? There must be something else. There's something right. in there. So maybe it's a trick. Yes, it is a trick. And here, when you do this at home, what you do is you get a nice tall glass and a piece of cloth that's relatively thin. Mm -hmm. And when you start, you put a hole like that down here, like this. You see, and now you turn it upside down like this. Mm -hmm. And now you have somebody rub their fingers. Yeah, but what makes it boil? Mm -hmm. Well, you see, what happens, you notice I had my fingers up here. If I push down on the handkerchief with my two fingers up above... I'm not even holding it there. That's the air. The air is coming up right. through the handkerchief, you see? Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it look like it's boiling. So, so it's th boiling. So no. this <laughs> time, let's see, I don't know, this is a hard one. You were correct in your analysis that it wasn't working, but you couldn't explain it. You thought it was boiling, yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't boiling. No, it wasn't boiling, it, just because, the air. Because one of the air yeah. is coming in. My finger can't See, do it. No, your finger oh, no. can't do it. So you got that one right, but again, for the wrong reason. Yeah, well. Gee, you're, you're doing pretty terrible. <laughs> I'll be better in the next one. Uh, all right, now, uh, the next one, that was, by the way, what kind of heat would it have been if it really worked? Well, it would be convection. Convection, but heat it didn't really work. Finger, but it didn't really work. It's false. All right, now try this one. Over here is a light bulb, see it? Yeah. <clears throat> on a stand, and there's a little glass tube coming out on the inside. Over there is a infrared bulb, heat lamp. You know, see it oh, there? It gives out. And when I turn it on, invisible radiation is going to come in here to this light bulb. Mm -hmm. Now, inside the light bulb, I have a little Christmas tree ornament like this, see? Oh. <laughs> yeah. And that's attached to this, uh, to this tube. And th see, there's a little, uh, little dot of ink there, and I have a rubber yeah. band marking the end of it. When I turn on the infrared lamp, that dot's going to move because I have this little Christmas tree ornament inside. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no, that's false. You don't believe me? Little Christmas tree bow? No. Well, you, wa you watch the ink, and I'll go over and turn on the lamp. See, it's way over there, and yeah. see, if it, see if it works. Watch it now. I don't know. It doesn't seem possible. There it goes on. It's moving. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. Would you put your hand in front of the uh, lamp here? My hand in front of it? Well, it stopped. Now take your hand away. Well, now it's going again. Now put your hand back up again. Well, it's stopped. Now it's even going the other way. Yeah, your hand isn't quite big enough. Here, let me no. do it. Because so, if you cover it over completely, it should go the other way. Yeah, now it is going this way. Yeah, but a Christmas tree bulb? Okay, now. That's there, doing it, but because it of this. Now watch what happens mm -hmm. if I turn it out of the beam. It slows up. It should yes. stop eventually. See it? Yes, it stopped. Well, here, I'll stand in front of the beam uh, uh, to keep it from... Uh, Going, and I'll show you that that explanation was true all along. It is a yeah, little boss. Christmas tree bulb in there. It doesn't seem very scientific. Wait, it's let, let, me turn the, let me turn the heat lamp off so we, it doesn't go out the end, and I'll show you. It stopped. <laughs> it stopped, yes. And it should come back up. Yes, now it comes right. Here is a bulb mm -hmm. similar to the, you know, this is a regular bulb that you'd have a, a filament inside. And if you file it around here very carefully, you can break it off. And notice that it's the kind of bulb that has sort of a parabolic reflector built into it with silver all around it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now if it's true that when you have a light filament in there, the light goes out in all directions, straight out, and hits the side of these and bounces back and goes straight out. That's why it's designed in this particular shape.
Okay, now if that's true that light will go out that way, now invisible radiation should be able to come in here, hit the side of this silver thing, and bounce back to where the filament was. Yeah, just the opposite. Just the opposite. Out. So if you now take a little Christmas tree bulb, cover That's it, it and paint it black, mm -hmm. and put it inside this thing t so it ends up right where the filament was, all the radiant energy is going to be concentrated on that little black bulb, isn't it? a little black Christmas tree ornament. Yeah. And when you he heat up the air inside this thing because it's going to absorb heat, mm -hmm. then this is connected to the little tube, and that'll make the air in this, in this tube expand. And if you put a little blob of ink in there, then the hot air yeah. will push the little blob of ink. Just by the Christmas tree bulb. Just by the Christmas it. tree bulb. Well, I was wrong on that one. So you were wrong on that one for the right reasons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And see if you yeah, put it now, it's see it's it's almost back there again. Look. Yeah. And I'll line it up and I'll go turn it on, see if it really moves again. Mm -hmm. It didn't seem that it could happen, but I guess I was wrong. Could it go? It sure did. It was very yeah. fast. Very, very fast sensitive. indeed. Hmm. Stop it by putting my hand in front. Yeah, and it even goes this other way. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I'll turn the bulb off, and it should come back. Mm -hmm. First it stops. Now it's coming back. Okay. Down. So I got you on that one. Yeah, All because of the little Christmas tree bulb. Now, do you remember that uh, secret writing that I was yes. working with? Mm -hmm. All right. On around here. I'll show you uh, what the trick is with that. I'll get that one. You think you'll get that one? Yes, I've got to. Well, because you didn't yeah. get the last one, you mean? Yeah. Well, here, here's a long strip of paper. And on it, I have written the secret message. So here, you take a hold of this in, and I'll put it down here. Okay. And, and here's the secret message. Can I pull it? Yeah, just pull it now. H2. Better. Con. Better conductor. Then. Paper. Is that it? Yes. There's okay. there's the message. Is that true or false? That this is better conductor than paper? Well, obviously, yeah. something happens that it makes it black. Yeah. And I, my explanation is that sulfuric acid, H2SO4, mm -hmm. is a better conductor of heat than paper, and that's why it turns black. No, it's not a better conductor. It's false. Why do you say that? Well, I think there's uh, some chemical that makes it good. Well, but the chemical could be a better conductor. Oh. Well, that's it true. Then, well, if it's a better conductor, then... All right, but true. if it's a better conductor, that still doesn't explain why it turns black. Let me see. The other one was true. This one's false. Absolutely false. Now, wait a minute. You've said false. Now you've said true. Now you've said false. Well, now I'm What are you, some kind false. of a girl that keeps changing your mind? It's no. false. Well, see, the other one was true. So, you know, it's time for false. Oh, I see. A very sort of feminine logic about it. <laughs> uh, well, all right. You say that the last one was false, so this one must be true. Mm. Or you, know, you say the last. This one this, is. Well, that one's true. This is false. Okay. Absolutely false. All right. Well, you can find out the answer by continuing to pull the strip here. Thank you. Oh, I should have pulled it before. Yes, H two S O four. Yes. Got that. Charles. Paper. At. Lower. Temp temperature. Temperature. Mm -hmm. Now, what does that mean? At lower temperature. So that means that, well, that would be right then. If That's it right. makes the paper just at lower temperature, yes. it wouldn't What be... happens is you put sulfuric mm -hmm. acid on it, and uh, when you heat it, it means that it oxidizes or mm -hmm. kind of burns the paper at a lower temperature than the iron on the paper does alone. It, mm -hmm. After all, the paper would turn black like this if you got the iron hot in the oven. Yeah, it and, would. But yeah. the sulfuric acid helps the paper burn or oxidize mm -hmm. at a much lower temperature. Yeah, so I was right. So you're right. And what kind yeah. of uh, heat transfers this? Well, this would be conduction, which conduction. goes through what, the iron. Watch that finger. It conducts oh. your finger. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's right. It's a conduction from the heat of the iron going through the paper mm -hmm. to get to the chemical. I was right. I needed a right one. <laughs> okay. So this time you were right, and but for the wrong reason again. Well, yeah, I said that one was false. <laughs> it's, no, this one okay, now the next one is a kind of a tricky one, so come on over here. Tricky? And, yes, it's kind of tricky. My thinking hat on. Here is a plastic bag that you get when you have clothes brought back from the cleaners, you see it? Stuck to the table. And inside here I have some special chemicals which I just spilled. Yeah, it's pink stuff. That pink stuff, yes. 
That's I true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, well, I wanted to show you what the bag looked like. You see that it, that you can see it is a clothing bag. You see. Mm. See. Okay. Yes. Now, a long time ago, scientists back in the 1700s, uh, or I'll leave it later than that. They began to investigate various properties of the air around them, and they found that air contained a special ingredient which they called phlogiston. Mm, yeah. And they noticed that when they did some experiments <clears throat> with air and phlogiston, that, that after they had done some experiments with it, that the air became, that was no longer had this phlogiston in it, so they called it dephlogistonized air. Oh, is that right? I don't like that That's expression. That's false. Dephlogiston air? You've never heard of phlogiston? I've never heard of phlogiston. You've never heard of phlogiston? No, well, that, that's false. Well, let me continue with my story. All right. Now, I'm going to light that special chemical down there in the bottom. Or you can, I'll light it and you hold the bag up. And as the air has the phlogiston taken out of it, yeah. it's going to fill the bag with this dephlogistonized air. Mm -hmm. And the bag will get fuller and fuller. And it so happens the dephlogistonized air uh, and some other things uh, are lighter than the air around it. So when you touch the match down there, it'll gradually fill up, and pretty soon it'll float right up. The deflagistonized air. Was it deflagistonized? Deflagistonized. <laughs> deflagistonized air. Now, hmm. okay. True or false? That's false. It's not deflagistonized. Or you hold yeah. the top of the bag on the corners here like this. And it's Never step heard back, of that before. Step back a little bit, and I'll light that special chemical down there in the bottom, and we'll see. Well, it'll probably rise. I mean, after all, look at all the trouble you made to make it. Oh, and that's why you think <laughs> yeah. it'll rise? Mm-hmm. Looks like it's going to do something exciting. Well, hold it exciting. up straight now so it, okay. so it doesn't, the, yeah. the flame doesn't touch the side. Okay, now you can sort of put it down on the, on the floor. It's getting full of something? Yeah, something. Deflagistonized air. No, I don't, I don't take that. It doesn't you, seem like it. Can you let go? Oops. Yeah, it's really filling it up. All right. Now, there's a little breeze coming in here, so I'll kind of guide it so it won't go off to the side. Yeah, it keeps on going that way. I'll just push it with my finger so it won't go off this way. Deep, just a deal. Stay here, bag. Don't go back that way. <laughs> it's going back. Rise. It is. <laughs> it is. You said it wasn't yeah. true. Well, I said it would rise, but I didn't know why. It couldn't be deflagistin air. Why not? Heard of it. Well, just because you haven't heard of it. There are a lot of things you haven't heard of. Look at yeah, it. It's going up. Yeah, it sure is. It's a new type of kite. Yes. <laughs> now, if you want to make one of these at home, you get a plastic bag that comes, you know, with the cleaning. Mm -hmm. And around the bottom here is a straw frame mm -hmm. and two strings going across. And in there is a little aluminum cup that you can form out of just plain aluminum. And that, that stuff that deflagistonized yeah, the air is a solid alcohol, canned heat. So and, that's out and heat. And so you light it, and that uh, lets out heat, yes. Yeah, but what about the deflagistonized air? Well, that, happen, that happens true. to be true also. It is? Yes. In fact, what, well, if that's the case here, let's, let's uh, put the, um, if I put this little thing on here and put that on the top and put the flame out, mm -hmm. uh, what should happen to it? You think it should stay up there because it's still filled with yeah, hot air? Yeah, it should just stay up there. It's got that special stuff in it. Yeah, it's coming down. <laughs> so maybe my explanation is correct after all. It, does, it did have phlogiston and deflogiston. Well, let's let it sit there and watch what happens to it, because it'll gradually sink. As I explained about that, that my story was true. It is true? Yes. Back You're in telling the, the truth now? Yes, now I'm telling the truth. Back in the early days, when scientists, before scientists uh, know, knew about oxygen and carbon dioxide and what happened in that flame, they just knew that there was some kind of an ingredient in the air and they, that, that seemed to support combustion and, you know, animals needed and so forth. So they called it phlogiston. Really? They did? Yes. Oh, and then, th and then, then later, later when they did some of these experiments and they found that air wouldn't support the combustion anymore, mm -hmm. they said, well, then it's deflagistonized air. Oh, I see. And really, what the were air. they talking about? They were talking oxygen. about oxygen. That's mm -hmm. right. But they didn't have any name for oxygen yet. 
Oh, so that's why they call that's it that That's why they name. call it flock. But we have Flip, oxygen. Yes, we call it oxygen. So my story was true in spite of the fact that you didn't believe me. Yeah. And it, this happened back in the 1700s, so that's, you probably hadn't heard about it. I wasn't But well, when you investigate the history of science, you'll run across phlogiston. Oh. Yeah. I so, uh, now let's I see how... I was half right and wrong. Half. I said it would go up. You said it would go up. Wrong. Well, you didn't believe my explanation, which was correct. Well, yeah, well, I said it would go up. <laughs> Not quite correct, because really, the, the, the thing that makes it go up is the fact that the air is heated, right? And it's just yeah. like the hot water over there. Mm. Okay. Now, let's see, you did pretty well on most of them. You got quite a few right, but all for the wrong reasons. Well, at least I got them right. At least you Isn't got them the right. Thing? <laughs> Next time I do an experiment, why well, I'm going to have you tell me what the answer is, because you'll know the right answer, but yeah, you won't you have the right Yeah, you can tell reason. me why I got it. What'll happen if we light it again? Well, it should go up. All right, let's try it. You want to hang on to the bag? Now, I think maybe there's enough fuel in there to give us another trip, and we'll see. Now, if you do this at home, uh, it's relatively simple to do, but you want to be careful that the thing doesn't get away from you. If you do it outside, the wind could blow it, and after all, there's fire down there in that little little container, so you should be careful you don't do this in a field or something where, the, mm. where you know, it can catch something on fire. Yeah. What is that, canned heat? Canned heat, yes. Can you just buy it? Yes, you can okay. buy it at the hardware store. It's mm. used in chafing dishes and things like that. You know the little fire they have underneath the chafing dishes when they want to yeah. heat up yes. something? Well, that's what that it is. Little pink stuff. Right? Yes. Remember that. Okay, now it's getting full of... And you remember back in the olden days, scientists actually got in bags like this and flew up into the air. Oh, Imagine. yeah, but I never knew it was just in there. Anyway, there is the kind of fun you can have when you try to play tricks with heat transfer. Hmm.